What's up fam? So today we're really excited because we're going to answer your questions that you asked us. We put a thing on Instagram mm -hmm. earlier today and you guys responded and we love doing these. They're, they're a lot of fun and we know that you guys have asked for this again. So we're doing it again. We're doing what you guys want. <laughs> yes. So let's get started. So the first question is anything you recommend we don't forget for our first Disney cruise? This is the thing. We haven't cruised for a while, right. like a lot of us, and um, there's a lot of things that we would say to bring, but we don't know. Things are changing. Things are changing. <laughs> have changed. Have changed, and so we're gonna definitely have a lot more information um, after we cruise. Right. But I think one thing that has been like an essential for us is a yeah. pop-up hamper. Yes. Yeah. And we learned this from the channel Leg Life. They were the ones that gave that in a tip. Mm -hmm. And then we used it and we're like, okay, sharing that tip because the staterooms are small and they do have a closet, which is really nice. So um, it's just one of those like uh, closets that you can slide the door over and then the hamper basket can fit inside there. So any wander you have, it's it can amazing. just go right in there because um, I usually use like my suitcase as my laundry basket in hotels, but your suitcases are under your bed That's kind of like the best storage place for it and they make the beds high enough for them So it's like where do you put your dirty clothes? So bring a pop-up pop -up hamper. hamper basket and you It'll know your... and it claps to go right in your luggage You know, we're not using it. So yeah. they're, they're fantastic. You can get them at Walmart Target, whatever and uh yeah. Do we still have ours? Yes, we do. But okay. I was gonna say, it'll make your stateroom. <laughs> it's something that our boys from actually. <laughs> we need to go buy that. I just got it out the other day because they need a new laundry basket and I was using it. And I'm like, I need to just buy them a new big one. Yeah, but so, anyways, yeah. it will make your stateroom so much tidier because mm -hmm. it can get cluttery very fast because it is a small space. So it just helps not having your dirty clothes everywhere. Yes. And just one spot. So I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to stop there because again, <laughs> we don't, th things have changed so much. Yeah. And so, but I think that one is uh, definitely a must. Mm -hmm. So number two is, do you still wake up at 430 every day? So there was a video that we did a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and I was waking up at 430 every day. And it was called if, why I wake up yeah. at 430. And it was you very, you should go watch that. I should go watch life. that again. <laughs> um, but I, I did that for like, man, a couple of years straight. Um, and then when the kids kind of got a little bit older, um, different seasons change. It hasn't happened, and I think I think the biggest thing, honestly, was when COVID hit. When we had quarantine, um, time. yeah. Because I was still waking up super early. Yeah. Around five, I think four forty-five, five. But when COVID hit, I still haven't been able to get back into getting up early. So I guess this comment inspires me to get up earlier. Um, Which is something actually is a goal you've been. It, it is sharing lately. Yeah. So. It's hard because when we had that time, there was nowhere to go because we were both working from home. Yeah. And there's just something in your mind where you're like, I'm gonna be home all day. I can yeah. sleep in later. And, and I just haven't got back there yet. Like we've yeah. been getting up like what, how, like about 6:30. About my, that. I, my alarm clock goes up at 5:40 every yeah, day for so school. She gets up that. I get around 6 6:30. Yeah. But I need to push about an hour. So anyway, so no, not <laughs> at this present moment, thanks to quarantine. But well, getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> question number three is, are you done having kids? Hmm, that's a good question. Yes. No. My, yes? My, no. Uh, yeah, I was agreeing. Yes, that's a good question. Oh. The answer <laughs> is no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, let's clarify this. So, yes, it was a good question, but no, we're not done having kids. Is that That's correct? what I said. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, we do want to have more kids. When I say kids, I mean like one more is kind of the plan. We've talked about three, so mm -hmm. we will see. Mm -hmm. It would be nice. Landon and Tucker really want a little sister. So, they talk about that a lot. <laughs> yeah. They, they've always said, like, when you're done, you know you're done. Yeah. And I don't think we've felt that we're done yet. No. Um, so, stay tuned. <laughs> What is your favorite Disney song? I didn't read this question in advance. That's a hard question. So my go-to, like, because I love Aladdin, mm. like, is yeah. probably when I hear the intro of the da-da-da, like, A Whole New World. Like, that's always mm -hmm. one of my favorite. I'm like, I don't love that song. But there's so many good Disney songs. Yeah, there's songs, so many, so but I think the hard. one that, like, I do karaoke the most on would be Do You Feel the Love Tonight? Lion King. That's yeah, a good one too. So I think that one's like mine because honestly, if there's, a, if there's any karaoke, if there's any like 
I don't know that you know Dis- on the Disney Cruise I've, we've seen it. Yes, we have. Um, I think that's probably one of my favorites because yeah. it's always stuck in my head. Right, I love it. And on the way home from school, we actually Landon one of his favorite things to do is I'll play like just like a random Disney like playlist and he'll like guess where that movie's from and it's so fun. I'm like Disney has the best music. We just watched Coco the other night. I love the music from Coco. So it's really hard, but yeah, if I have to pick a song, I guess. A okay, fifth question we got was, what is a hobby or thing that you'd like to do but have never pursued? <gasps> I have an answer to this. She does. I was actually thinking when I saw this question today because we talked about this the other day. We did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I wish I played an instrument. Either like guitar was the one I actually said I'd like to pursue because I used to play guitar and I took guitar lessons mm-hmm. and I didn't fall through with it. I can give you lessons. Okay. <laughs> I think for me, honestly, it's uh, just freehand drawing. Like I, I would really like to take that up, and yeah. I know I feel like I can, I can do it. It's just, it's practice. You know, if you talk to any mm-hmm. person who's, you know, you look at it, and you're like, oh, you're just, you're just gifted at that, which is totally true. There's people who are just yeah. have like the, like they just have like the insight and they have like the, the creativity mindset for that. But yeah. I've also heard people who draw, they're like it's actually a lot of practice as well right so i think it's one of those things where i'm like i would like just to practice Mm -hmm. also my penmanship i would really like to have better penmanship so i love taking notes and stuff and i like actually legit paper and pen and i think that's another thing i would just love to like slow down and practice more is my penmanship so i guess those two things i would encourage you in that area (laughs) just because sometimes i get cards from you because i love cards like on our anniversary and i'm like what's that say (laughs) <laughs> because it's like really small letters. I usually try to can make it out, but <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh thanks. thanks. That was I don't so know what sweet. That says. <laughs> and then the next you're like, did you see what it said? <laughs> We're no. going on a vacation. Oh, I didn't see that part. <laughs> what is your least favorite household chore? That's so easy for me. It's dishes. <laughs> I hate dishes. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Unloading for sure. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I think like yeah. If, I guess it's like a two part. Mm-hmm. When you think of dishes, is that a two part or is it the whole enchilada? But if I had to dissect that, then yeah, definitely unloading unloading the dishwasher is by far the worst thing ever. Yeah, I will do dish like scrub dishes and load the dishwasher like all the time. Yeah, but if I, I just I can't. I hate it. If it needs to be unloaded, they will just stack up. Oh, I hate it. It's the worst. It's, it's so bad. Yeah. It's like so boring. Like so boring. I don't know if this is a household chore. Probably not. But it's something that I loathe. And I don't use that word that much, but I loathe it. <laughs> I loathe. It's getting down our Christmas decorations. What? I know. Number one, I don't even know if that classifies as a chore. Because it's up in our like <laughs> attic in our garage, and we have to get out your like rickety ladder, it's and it's sketchy. always like it's so ladder. heavy, and my neck is so sore for the rest of the week. <laughs> she has a neck of like a nine-year-old And then woman. like, it's just such a pain. And then there's like so much like work with it, just getting it down. I'm like, why do we put this stuff up here? Because we have nowhere else to put it. There's my answer. But it drives <laughs> me nuts every year. I'm like, I do not want to get it down. And then we have to put it back up. And it's like this little hole that we have to like push all these boxes up. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I, it's not a chore, I know. But I just want to share that with you. Probably taking out the trash. That's annoying too. <laughs> Next question we got asked was, what is the perfect date night when it's a no kid night? Oh. We were gonna do that tonight. That was supposed to happen tonight. But we ended up doing a family movie night, which was really which fun. Which is, we watched Big Hero 6, it was yeah, good. Was and fun. the kids were just like out of control because we gave them too many Reese's Pieces. They were like crazy. Justin's like, what is going on? I'm like, well, you gave them a donut when they came home for yeah. school and then they had Reese's Pieces, yeah. so there's that. Big mistake. <laughs> um, ah, man. I think honestly, it's, it's just, I mean, there's, I mean, I guess if we just talk about like a normal date, you know what I mean? Because I think like, yeah, the, like to to let's dinner. just do a category of like a normal like date, like sushi. in-town date. Me and you going to I would sushi. say sushi and then a movie. Movie. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. We just love going to sushi and, and movie. And maybe like go, like, our and then so our perfect date, like for like a normal date <laughs> would be sushi, 
then go to Starbucks, get some coffee or a nice coffee house, then a movie. Mm. I think that's like, if we have that time. Yeah, if we have that time. Because we like the we like the sushi, but then we like to just like sit, kind of like digest the sushi, talk, you know, plan out whatever, yeah. drink coffee, and then let the food digest so we can get a bunch of popcorn right. and just stuff ourselves with cocoa popcorn. Yes. That's if we have like a big babysitter window. We'll or do all that. or if the, the kids are spending the night somewhere. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. So I hopefully that will happen soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket list country to visit. For me, it would be Ireland. I've always wanted to go mm -hmm. to Ireland. Italy. Italy? Yeah. It's crazy because we are so close to Italy when we go to Romania. I know, we should just go. Yeah, I think honestly one of our bucket list things to do is to, um, you know, go to Disneyland Paris. Mm -hmm. That would be super cool. You know, too. one of these times yeah. when we go to Romania on the way back or something like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, Ireland for me, Italy for Lacey. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer the live action or original versions of the princess movies? Good question. So there's like Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those ones are both really good. Like Aladdin, or Aladdin's not a princess movie. No. Well, it still has a princess in it. Right. I would say definitely just the animated classics. Yeah. I feel like they've done a really good job. Mm -hmm. And Aladdin, the live action Aladdin, I know again, it's not princess, princess in it, is it probably one of my absolute favorite yeah, totally. live action movies. But It is hard because there's definitely like pros and cons to them. Like, yeah. like I, I, I think there's some aspects of the live action that I like a lot. And there's, but I think just because of like, Nostalgic reasons. Yeah, like if I'm gonna sit down and watch one of them, I'm, I don't usually go to the live actions. Yeah, that's they're the thing. usually more of like one and done. Like yeah. I'll watch them again if I really liked them, but the the but original. But I feel like if like we're packing for a vacation or clean yeah. the house or something like that, you you'll find us like have one animated for classic sure. on when we're doing those things in the background. So right. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the city you live in? Would you consider moving to a coastal city? So I okay. This is the thing. I'm satisfied living where we're at. I love Idaho, love everything about Idaho, and at least he loves Idaho as well. But however, if we could, I, Lacey, in a heartbeat, if I said like tomorrow, like, hey, do you want to go live by the ocean? I'm packing Hands my suitcase right now. Down, she'd be gone. <laughs> like there would be no, like it would, there would be no just like having to be like, you know, come on, you know, and try to like win her to my side or like you know. Put up the house for sale today. She would ugh, go so fast. Yeah. However, um, that's not in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love Boise, I love Idaho, lived here my whole life. It's a great place to raise a family. It's growing a lot, mm -hmm. which a lot of people in Idaho are like, eh, stop coming to Idaho. And I love it, because I'm yeah. like, keep coming. I mean, obviously- Because more things open up. More things open There's up. There's pros and cons, obviously, Right there, that, There is, and I can see that too. But at the same time, like we're I'm a, like- We're getting a top golf. I, will, I know. So, And we need some more things like, yeah. I've talked to you guys about this before, but Ikea, a Disney store. Mm -hmm. I know in and out like their factory isn't very close, but just, you know, I want to get more stuff here because I like visiting other places and, you know, those are yeah. some places. Like, we need more, like, donut places, too. Yeah, we need to have more donut places. I mean... <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that should be on the list. <laughs> I don't know why, like, people need to move here to get donut places. Yeah. Well, we, we actually have a very good donut place. We do, it's but... It's called Country Donuts. If you are ever in Idaho, Go to it Donuts. Really it's fantastic. <laughs> However, we need more. <laughs> pumpkin spice latte or pumpkin cream cold brew? Oh, this is like a this or that question. Yeah, this one's hard. I'm gonna go pumpkin cream cold brew. That's not hard. It, it will, okay, so. Have you even gotten a latte? Yeah, I have already have. <laughs> I've gotten a lot okay. since this has been open. Um, the thing about, I, I prefer hot coffee, and so that's why I would say the, 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 the pumpkin spice latte, because I like yeah. hot. Um, however, I think if I had to say how you know, during the season, I will order the cold brew way more. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with cold brew. Yeah, I will get the latte if it's iced. I don't like hot coffee. I mean, I'll drink it if I'm really cold, yeah. See, but year round I'm I iced. feel like coffee should be hot. I just don't think coffee should be cold. However, I've honestly, the last couple years, I've I've bent that rule quite a bit. I, I, do, yeah. I do like some cold coffee, and I think it's because of the cold brew the pumpkin oh. the pumpkin cream cold brew i think yeah. that's what really got me into because you think got about it, it like two years ago is when we first had it in disneyland mm -hmm. and i never got iced coffee and then after that i would start getting it but then think about it the whole rest of the year i don't get iced coffee it's true but when that comes out i get it so i get ice all year round yeah but. pumpkin cream cold brew and the last question was did you play any sports in school yes i was on a girls golf team Mm -hmm. We went to state our first year, saying, 
<laughs> it was really fun. <laughs> we were actually the first, um, my, like, when, when I started, it was the first year we even had, like, girls, like, team. Mm -hmm. So, and then I did, I did track for a little bit. I think that's it. Yeah, I played basketball. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna play football, but I got really into the whole band scene. Mm -hmm. Not like band, like I was in a band. Um, or starting in a band. And I was just, I was drumming a lot, playing mm -hmm. at different shows, things like that. So I decided to do that more than play football, mm -hmm. which I don't regret, really don't. Yeah. Learned a lot through those times. Oh, I also, it was, in, it was a question in high school. I think you just said in school. Oh, because I also did figure skating. That was probably the yeah. thing I did the longest. And then I did hockey for a little bit too. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that. I did play fun. flag football. That was not in high school, though. It was like a league. Yeah. Um, and I, I enjoyed flag football, but I really wanted to play tackle. But I don't know. I just got more in the drum scene. Yeah. So anyways, guys, those are some awesome questions. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. And uh, so this was kind of our date night because um, we we're supposed to go out tonight, but we're not. And we're doing this. And yeah. I think it was fun. Yeah. Justin was like, do you want to film tonight? I was like... Do I want to or do we need to? And he's like, I actually have some questions. I was like, oh, okay, that'll be fun. It's so, like, oh yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> Such a busy week. No, but I like doing these kind of I do things too. because it, it is kind of fun because it brings back like memories and and it is kind of fun like a like kind of a fun date kind yeah, of thing because we get to you know know our questions and get to know each other more. Right. Because I feel like I, kn I knew pretty much all these questions from I you. I think I did for me too. But it's still fun talking about it. It is. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for um, asking us these questions. We really appreciate it. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.